You have already learned what the dimension of a subspace of Rn is. Well, we will define the dimension of a general vector space in a similar way, so that works almost the same as in Rn. However, there's also a difference, as you will see at the end of this video, so let's take a look. So, first of all, uh, we will call a uh, vector space finite dimensional if it has a basis consisting of finitely many vectors. Well, so, if such a vector space is finite dimensional, you can count the number of vectors in the basis for V, and that number which you get is what we call the dimension of the vector space V. So, finding the dimension of a vector space is not so hard if you have a basis. Just take the basis, count the, more factors uh, count the number of factors, and there you are. So, for example, what happens if you have R3? Well, first we need the basis. We can, for example, take the standard basis, E1, E2, and E3. So what's the dimension of R3? Well, in our basis we have E1, E2, and E3, three factors, so the dimension of R3 equals 3. So what's the dimension of P3? Oh, we have to be slightly careful here. If we write down a basis, we can take, for example, again the standard basis, 1 t d squared t cubed, but then what's the dimension? 1 t d squared t cubed dimension is 4. So the dimension of P3 equals 4, because you have this extra 1 in your basis. So what's the then the difference? Well, first of all, let's look at two extreme cases. Well, we can uh, take a look at the uh, uh, dimension of the zero vector space, which contains only the zero vector. It does not have a basis, but we def will define this dimension as zero. Okay, that's not so interesting. But the other one is much more interesting, because the some vector spaces do not have a basis consisting of a finite number of factors, and those uh, vector spaces are ca called infinitely dimensional. Ah, this is not some pure mathematical artifact, because if you look, for example, at the continuous functions, you will not be able to find a finite basis. So in that case, that uh, vector space, which is very important for us, is already infinitely dimensional. So there is the difference with Rn.